Beginning April 15, drivers of e-vehicles like e-trikes and e-bikes caught on 19 major thoroughfares, including national, circumferential, and radial roads of Metro Manila, will be apprehended and penalized. Where e-trikes are banned, C1 Recto Avenue, C2 President Carino Avenue, C3 Araneta Avenue, C4 EDSA, C5 Katipunan CP Garcia, C6 Southeast Metro Manila Expressway, R1 Ross Boulevard, R2 Taft Avenue, R3 Eslex, R4 Shaw Boulevard, Ortigas Avenue, R6 Magsaysay Boulevard or Aurora Boulevard, R7 Quezon Avenue or Commonwealth Avenue, R8 A. Bonifacio Avenue, R9 Rizal Avenue, R10 Del Pan Marcus Highway MacArthur Highway Elliptical Road, Mindanao Avenue and Marcus Highway. Also prohibited on these thoroughfares by MMDA Resolution No. 24022 Series of 2024 are tricycles, pedicabs, pushcarts, and kuliglegs. The e-trikes and e-bikes will also be impounded if their drivers are found to have no driver's licenses. This is an indication that authorities will be moving to mandate that e-trikes can only be driven by licensed drivers. Sellers and distributors have been marketing the e-trikes as modes of transport that need no licenses to operate on the road. The MMDA resolution also directed local government units to issue ordinances regulating the use of e-trikes in respective jurisdictions, including identifying roads where these are prohibited. The MMDA and the Metro Manila Council, composed of mayors of the municipality and cities making up the National Capital Region, cited the many accidents caused by e-trikes on roads. The chaos and congestion on the streets they exacerbate with their unruly drivers who ignore all traffic regulations as reasons for implementing the ban. Even as the ban is set to be implemented, many are still arguing against its implementation. The Move One Coalition advocating for safer, more humane, and more inclusive public transportation in the Philippines questioned the government's contention that e-trikes caused many accidents. They cited MFDA's own Metro Manila Accidents Reporting and Analysis System findings that in 2022, bikes or e-bikes or pedicabs are only involved in 2.05% of road accidents in the metropolis, 4.84% of accidents with fatalities, and 5.88% of accidents non-fatal injuries. In contrast, the Maras reported that 52.48% of road accidents involve private cars and 22.59% involve motorcycles. The question implied, why ban e-trikes when more accidents are caused by private cars and motorcycles? But viral videos of e-trikes going against the flow of traffic, stopping in the middle of yellow boxes at lighted intersections, being driven by pre-teens gives one pause that perhaps a strict implementation of the ban is needed. And some can argue that any number of accidents, any number of fatalities or injuries or damage to property can never be too small not to do something to prevent them. Others, however, take a bigger view from the issue. Ira Cruz, director of Alt Mobility PH, advocates of sustainable and inclusive transport, says the popularity of e-trikes is a manifestation of government's failure to answer the basic needs of ordinary Filipinos for mobility. Cruz asserts that it is unacceptable for government to focus its energy on restrictions rather than solutions. The Move As One Coalition and Alt Mobility PH both believe that e-bikes and e-trikes could help the country meet its environmental objectives. Alt Mobility PH's Cruz is urging the president to direct national government agencies to act together to address the mobility problems of people. That's our morning forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.